In this video, we're going to show you why you need two mics to record your guitar. What's going on? I'm Tyler. And I'm Travis. This is Twisted Transcription Studios. Let's get this started. All right. <laughs> so, what we're talking about today is having two mics. Um, more or less, we run two SM57s uh, to record guitar. Um, you could run a couple of other different pairs of mics. I mean, everybody's got a different preference, but we like 57s. This first recording is going to be with a single mic just off the dust cone on my Marshall cap. On to the second video. This one is the Fredman Technique. Just on the Marshall cab though. And for the last one, we have Mike two cabs. One is the Marshall and one is my new Harley Benton cab. Now that we've seen and heard all three of those, we're going to kind of go through what we think about each one of them. Tyler, for the first one, what, how did you feel about the first one? It's not bad. I like it. I don't dislike it. Right. But I feel like the other two were better. Right. The first one for me was a little bit empty now after hearing the other two. Um, a little bit empty sounding. Obviously, it's dark. That cab is a very dark cab. It's got full of lows. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, by the way, just to take care of some of that low end, all of these are compressed the same way with the C4. That's the only thing I've got on them, so they're more or less raw. But I had to control the boominess of the palm mutes coming out of that Marshall cab because it's got so much lows in it. Speaking of compression, if you want to see exactly how we fully mix our guitar, make sure you check out our Worm series. Moving on to number two, that one is obviously much fuller but kind of the same sound as the first one to me just yeah, fuller heavier sounding right it's again it's dark full of low end it is a good sound honestly i mean it, it, i would be i would be thrilled to have that sound um again there's no no kind of post effects other than compression on it so that's more or less raw i mean you can really do something with that in post yeah um tyler any remarks i really liked it it was uh super heavy so now we're gonna move on to number three. Tyler, what did you think about number three? I really liked it. It had a good blend. It wasn't too low and it wasn't too high. Right. It was a good mid level. Right. Three. And that that is something that is something that a lot of people do think is like, hmm, that sounds really hearty and healthy and full, you know. But what you really have to think about when you're in the studio is that you've got different levels. Of your soundscape you have to feel and the guitar really should feel that mid yeah. level of the soundscape whereas your bass should take care of a lot of your lows once you add in a bass to that guitar track that third guitar track it'll really fullen it up 
Practice. All of these miking placements were put just off the dust gun. Fredman technique, all of them. Just off the dust gun. So I might need to move this new cab maybe a little off axis, maybe a little further off the dust gun. I'm still playing around with that sound, maybe calm down some of the mids a little bit, but that's the thing you've got to do when you're micing a guitar cab is experiment because no two cabs are made the same way. And you can definitely tell it by those two in there. On top of it being a little bit midi, the SM57 is also famous for being a little honky. A little bit in that mid zone, it really accentuates those mids, which is why it sounded so good on the Marshall for so long as we've played it. But it is, it is very mid active. So again, like I said, I might need to just off axis the one on the Harley Benton to get a little bit lower of a tone out of it to play in well with the 57. And that comes in a lot with every other mic you might use. You might, you might use an off brand 57 that isn't as midi as the 57 is. You might use a completely different mic that's super extra bright. Each mic has a different personality, just like each cab does. And you gotta really just play around. Find your sounds, like we said at the beginning, whatever your preference is on the mic, it's gonna change the sound of those. Exactly, I mean, some people, like I've said in, God, I don't even remember what video now, but some, some people might hate my tone. Some people might like my tone. I mean, everybody has their own preference. I, I know that one guy. Yeah, I, I, know, I know plenty of folks that I couldn't stand their tone, but they're in massive bands and making money. I mean, somebody likes your tone, somebody hates your tone, that's just the world we live in. So figure out what you like and do it. You can also, correct me if I'm wrong, um, change speakers. You can go one, two, three, or four, right. and that'll change your sound as well. Yeah, each speaker has a different voice as well. And that's, I mean, that's what comes, like I said, that comes critical with playing around. Yeah. Um, there's a video we've made that shows each different speaker on, yeah, it was very old. One. <laughs> each different speaker on the Marshall cab, and each one of them sounded so much different. One of them was very MIDI, but you couldn't do it by itself because that's all it was. Yeah. It didn't have any other voicings whatsoever. It was just nothing but mids, and that's the, the same way with every cab. Each cab has a different. Each speaker in a cab has a sweet spot. Has a sweet spot. Exactly. I mean, I, like I said, I got to play around with this new cab. I might wind up on speaker four, and I've never used speaker four before, but. Just play around, have a good time, record yourself, listen back to it, and have somebody else listen back to it because just because like you love while, it, it's gonna like everything's gonna blend in. Together. Everything sounds the same after you've listened to it long enough. If you want to hear what this combination sounds like in the mix, check out our Worm series: writing, recording, and mixing. All right, we're making one full song throughout this entire series. You should definitely check it out. That wraps this video up. Yeah, we appreciate you sticking to the end. Make sure you like, you subscribe, you hit that bell, and did I miss something? Drop the, comment. Drop the comments in the box down there below. Find us on social media at Twisted Transcription, and we will see you next time. Goodbye. What's going on? I'm Obi Wan Kenobi. All of our background music, all of our our music videos, even <laughs> get pissed off then. <laughs> Roll the clip, Bob. Number three, my lord! <laughs>